My microwave hot fudge sauce recipe is quick and easy. With only three ingredients and just as many minutes, you can make an amazing homemade hot fudge recipe that's great on ice cream, strawberries, brownies, or whatever you want. Here in this microwave safe bowl, I have six ounces or 120 grams of chocolate chips. I am using semi-sweet. I recommend semi-sweet or dark because if you use milk, it's probably going to be too sweet because of the sugar in the sweet and condensed milk. I'm using mini chips because that's what I have, but you can use regular. You will need one 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk and also four tablespoons of butter. I am using unsalted. Those three ingredients are the base for this microwave hot fudge sauce. But if you want to add a little bit extra, like I'm going to, you could add an eighth of a teaspoon of salt and a half of a teaspoon of vanilla. You might be able to go up to one teaspoon, but I'm going to use half. Like I said, this microwave hot fudge recipe is super easy. All I have to do is empty the sweet and condensed milk into this microwave safe bowl. I'm going to stir in the sweet and condensed milk to combine with the chocolate chips. Then I'm going to put this in the microwave on high in increments of 30 seconds. And after each 30 second increment, I'm going to take it out, I'm going to stir it, and I'm going to keep doing that until the chocolate chips are melted. I just took the sweet condensed milk and chocolate chips out of the microwave. You're in for the first 30 seconds. Now back in for another 30 seconds, and like I said, I'm going to stir after each increment. They are starting to melt already. Another 30 seconds. The second increment. The hot fudge sauce was in the microwave for three 30 second increments, so one and a half minutes. If it looks lumpy, just keep stirring it. Now it's time to add the butter. I am going to add the four tablespoons of butter, a half of a stick, along with the vanilla and the salt. I'm adding the butter now so that it doesn't scorch, and I'm adding the vanilla now so that it doesn't burn off in the heat. Now I'm just going to keep stirring to combine. If I have to put this back in the microwave for maybe 15 or 20 seconds, I will, but I think that the residual heat should melt this. The butter melted on its own with the residual heat. Now I'm just going to let this cool down and thicken up as I get my vanilla ice cream ready. My microwave hot fudge sauce has been cooling for about seven minutes. So now it's time to serve it. I'm just gonna put it on some vanilla ice cream. And once it touches the ice cream, I think it's gonna get a bit harder. Wanna wait a few minutes, five to seven, so that the hot fudge sauce thickens up number one. And also you don't want it to melt your ice cream immediately. There. Absolutely perfect. Honestly, I was really impressed with this quick microwave hot fudge sauce with chocolate chips recipe. For something with only three base ingredients and that only took three minutes to put together, this was actually really, really good. It had just the right amount of chocolate flavor and sweetness and the silky smooth texture really took it to the next level. This definitely reminds me of the hot fudge sauce sundaes that I would get from popular fast food restaurants here in the United States. So if you like that, I think you'll like this. Without a doubt, this was definitely a step or two above the store-bought fudge sauce that you buy in the glass jars or in the microwavable bottles. 
So considering that this recipe is super quick because you can make the hot fudge sauce in the microwave, it's definitely worth a couple minutes of your time. I ate it on vanilla ice cream and strawberries and I was definitely satisfied. The only thing I would change is that instead of using half a teaspoon of vanilla, I'm curious how this recipe would turn out with a full teaspoon. Another thing I'd like to try in the future is putting this over brownies. I think that a fudgy chocolatey brownie a la mode with this quick hot fudge sauce made in the microwave would be absolutely incredible. If you're thinking about taking your Sunday to the next level, you have to make this recipe. I know you'll love it. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.